Hey there econ students and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we're going to be talking about the unemployment rate and the labor participation rate. Now the unemployment rate is a very important number. This number is calculated by the Bureau of Labor Statistics and it shows how many people are not working in society. Now it's not perfect though, and some politicians have pointed this out, that the unemployment rate should be a lot higher. And one of the reasons why they say this is because it doesn't factor in people who have become frustrated with the system and just stopped. People who have become so frustrated and they just stop trying to work, they've given up, they're not going to participate anymore, they're no longer even searching for a job. Those people then are dropped out of this number. The other thing too it doesn't show us is the types of employment. For example, it doesn't differentiate between full-time or part-time, between 10 hours a week and 50 hours a week. So those are a couple different flaws with it. However, it's the most accurate number we have to kind of see what's going on with our workforce and with our unemployed. So let's actually break this down. First thing we're going to talk about is our labor force, because this is important to understand. What is our total labor force made up of? Our total labor force is made up of everyone who is employed and unemployed in society. Now the reason why we take our employed and unemployed and put them together is because these are the people who are still trying to get a job or have a job. So they're all participating. Even though it might seem kind of weird that the unemployed people are considered part of the total labor force, they're still participating. They're still trying to get a job. These aren't people who have given up and have decided not to work anymore. Now this is going to be important to understand because we're going to need to understand how to find our total labor force in order to find our unemployment rate. On the screen right here you can see the formula to find our unemployment rate. We're going to take the total number of people unemployed and we're going to then divide it by our total labor force. This will show us the unemployment rate for the country. Now before we go on to our next formula which is going to be the labor participation rate, let's do a couple practice problems to make sure you're understanding how to find the unemployment rate and the total labor force for a society. Alright, what I want you to do is use this table here to answer the following questions. What would be our labor force in 2004? Also, how many people are not part of our total labor force in 2004? And then lastly, what is the unemployment rate of 2004? So we're just focusing on 2004 in this chart here. We can see we have the adult population, we have the number of employed people, and we also have the amount of unemployed people. So pause this video and try to answer these three questions. Once you got the answer, unpause the video and we'll go over it together. All right, let's go over what our total labor force is. Remember, to find total labor force, we're going to take our employed and unemployed and we'll add them together. When looking at the chart, I can see that I have 1,400 people employed in this society. And I have 200 people who are unemployed. So what you would do is add the two together, and the answer for this question would be 1,600. Now that I know the total labor force, I can now figure out the unemployment. Now what we're going to do to get this rate is I'm going to take the amount of people who are unemployed, and I'm going to divide them by my total labor force. So what we will take then is our 200, and I'm going to divide it by my 1,600. This is going to get me an unemployment rate of about 12.5%. Hopefully this is making sense. Let's go on to our next concept, which is actually going to be the labor participation rate. Another important one to understand when looking at unemployment. So the labor participation rate is an important number as well. This is showing us how many people of the working age are actually participating in society. The more people that we have participating in a society, the more productivity we have, the higher our GDP can be, and the more growth as a society will have. So that's why this number is important. If it starts to go down, that means more people are becoming frustrated and are leaving our society. Now, not necessarily just like fleeing the country, but what that means is they're just no longer participating. They've kind of given up. They've decided not to work or help out anymore. And that can create a burden on the economy. So this number is important, just like the unemployment rate. To find this one, what we're going to do is take our labor force and we're going to divide it by our adult population. You can see the formula right over here. Now we're dividing by our adult population because we're only trying to see for people who are of working age. This takes out people who are kids or aren't able to work due to their age. That way we're just looking at kind of the part of society who could be participating and helping out. So let's actually take this concept now and apply it again with a couple practice problems to make sure that you're getting it. 
On the screen right now, you can see I have two questions and we have two years, 2004 and 2005. What I want you to do is just find the labor force participation rate for 2004 and five. Pause this video and try to figure it out. Once you're ready, unpause the video. Our first question is trying to see what's our labor force participation rate for 2004. What we're gonna do is take our total labor force and we're gonna divide it by our adult population. This is again gonna show us how many of our adults are working. So what we'll do is we'll take our employed and unemployed, add that together, we'll get 1,600, and we're going to then divide that by 2,000. We'll then get 0 0.80, and we'll just times it by 100, and it's 80%. So I can see there I have a participation rate of 80%. That's pretty good. The second question now is asking for 2,005. Again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. We'll take our employed plus unemployed, and then we're gonna divide it by our adult population. For this one now, we're actually going to be dividing 1,900 by 3,000. This is going to get us 63.33, repeating. So not as good, only 63.333% of our population are working. There might be other issues at play that are causing this number to go down. And that could be a concern for society. Hopefully by now you have a pretty good understanding of how to find a labor force participation rate and also the unemployment rate and what these numbers truly mean. Make sure to check out my next video which will look at the different types of unemployment. That'll be really important to understand if you're going to understand everything with unemployment. I'm Mr. Sin, thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you out, please consider subscribing. And until next time, I'll see you online.